Welcome to another grammar lesson brought to you by eBankyou.com and Genki Kids A Kaiwa. In this lesson, we will cover verb simple question, present, future, continuous, past. Review. Do, will, doing, did. Okay, let's start. There are four different simple tenses in English. Present, future, continuous, and past. First, we have present tense, where you put do at the beginning of the question, as in do you make a cake every day? So, for example, do you swim? Now, depending on the subject, if the subject is he, she, or it, the do changes to does, as in, does he swim? Next, we have future tense question, where you put will at the start of the sentence, as in, will you make a cake? Another example is, will you swim? Okay, so no matter the subject, it's always the same form. Another way to say future is with, are you going to swim? Next, we have continuous question, where you put the be verb at the start of the question, as in, are you making a cake? Another example is, are you swimming? And depending on the subject, you change the be verb to match that subject. Lastly, we have past tense question where you put did at the front of the sentence, as in, did you make a cake? Another example is, did you swim? And no matter the subject, it's always did. Okay, let's read the sentences one more time. Do you swim? Does he swim? Will you swim? Are you going to swim? Are you swimming? Did you swim? Do you swim? Does he swim? Will you swim? Are you going to swim? Are you swimming? Did you swim? Okay, let's practice with some example sentences. Here we go. Do you read? Does she drive? Will you read? Will she drive? Are you going to read? Is she going to drive? Are you reading? Is she driving? Did you read? Did she drive? Okay, let's read that at a normal pace. Do you read? Does she drive? Will you read? Will she drive? Are you going to read? Is she going to drive? Are you reading? Is she driving? Did you read? Did she drive? Okay, you read the sentences next. Do you read? Does she drive? Will you read? Will she drive? Are you going to read? Is she going to drive? Are you reading? Is she driving? Did you read? Did she drive? Great job. Excellent, everybody. Thank you for listening. For more practice using lessons and tests, check out ebankyo.com. ebankyo is a website that provides over 14,000 different lessons and tests that enable students to learn and practice English at their own pace. There are many lessons available for all levels, starting from basic vocab, phonics, and grammar. Each of the points covered will also have many corresponding lessons and tests at ebankyo.com. I hope to see you there. Have a good day.